Hey everybody, with uh, VGC 2015, including so many legendaries in our potential Pokemon pool, uh, as well as just the sheer amount of legendaries in the game, I thought this would be a good chance to both show you guys where to get all the legendaries, what you need to get uh, them from their Mirage spots, and uh, non-Mirage spots for some of them. And on top of that, to teach uh, new people if you don't know how to catch a perfect legendary, or at least I got a good resource for you. So, I thought... Yeah, put that all in one video. So, let's get into it. Here's a map of Hoenn. If you want to screen cap this right now, that will probably be helpful for you later. If not, well, okay. But uh, this is from the guidebook, actually. And so the numbers, there's 32 regular Mirage spots. And so they number 33 through 40 as the legendary spots. That's what the numbers are for. So you can kind of ignore them. But you can see each legendary next to a, a number. If you look at like 34, for example, Suicune, that's not only a place to get Suicune, but also Entei and Raikou. So the trios or any other legendaries that are associated with uh, any of the pictures you see here, th those trios will all be from the same location. You'll also see there's a Lugia and Heatran. Neither of those are Mirage spots, but um, I'll show you guys where to get uh, those two as well. And yeah, so just... Mental check on this, take a picture of it, pull it up if you want. This is where the Mirage spots are going to be. Now, to get Oxy, Mesprit, and Azelf, you're going to have to go find that Mirage spot, but you're also going to need to have three Pokemon with max happiness on your team. And then um, those are according to what time it is in your DS. So between uh, different hours, you can find each of the three. I don't know what they call those three. Something, I don't know, whatever. If you want to get Terrakion, Virizion, and uh, Cobalion, you need three Pokemon with max EVs on your team. And those three will be found on different days of the week. It's so cool. I like, I love the methods that they they put for the, each trio has got a different method. Um, if you want Suicune, Entei, Raikou, you need to have Lugia or Ho-Oh on your team. I'll get to that in a second. And um, uh, when you enter the portal, it'll... Oh, it'll be determined by what the minute hand is on um, the clock at the time. So it could be any hour just between, you know, the minutes of 0, 0, and 19, you'll find Raikou, and then so on, so on. Uh, if you want to find the Genies, you're going to have to have Cast Form on your team. And then if you have Omega Ruby, you will find Tornadus. Thunderous will be for Alpha Sapphire. And if you have both Tornadus and Thunderous on your team, then you could find Landorus there instead. So that's pretty cool. Cresselia is quite the annoying duck. Uh, there's a very slim chance of Crescent Isle uh, appearing. So just got to check it every day. However, um, there's a couple options for you there. You can street pass the location from another player. Just go online and receive Mirage spots from them. And then you can go to your buzz nav and hit the mailbox. And if they have it, you'll get it. But you can also reset for Crescent Isle by saving before updating your buzz nav. And then updating it every time you start your game. So you start your game, save before you've updated your buzz nav fly over to where Crescent Isle is supposed to be. If it's not there, restart, log in, update your buzz nav, fly over there. If it's not there, restart, log in, you know, update your buzz nav. So you can you can do it that way, but there is a very slim chance. It's very, very rare. Reshiram, Zekrom, Kyurem, not legal in VGC, but if you want them anyway, you have to have a level 100 Pokemon on your team, and then those will be uh, game cart based, and then Kyurem's if you have both on your team at the same time. Hello, Lugia. Those are also game-based. However, in order to get them, uh, I'm sure you've all been to the Sea Mawville. You have to get the scanner from the Sea Mawville, and that's I think at the bottom of like the ocean, or it's on the bottom floor, something like that. And then you give it to Captain Stern in Slateport City. Come back to Sea of Mawville, and according to your game, there will be a portal either on the top of the ship or underneath the ocean, and then you can go uh, catch that respective legendary. Those also aren't legal in VGC, in case you were wondering. Heatran is very much legal, and you get him at Scorch Slab, which is right near Fortree City. And after fighting Groudon or Kyogre, you can actually go get Heatran. Flannery will come up to you and be like, hey, I'm looking for this Pokemon. Then you go to the bottom and you catch the Pokemon she's looking for. So poor Flannery, but good for you. Um, and then uh, if you want Giratina, Palkia, Dalga, those also are not legal. You just have to have Azelf, Mesprit, and Oxy on your team at the same time. And then that'll be game cart dependent. And then with both, you can get Giratina from the same spot. So that's all good and well. Catching the legendary itself. Let me show you guys the little flying thing. This is really simple. I'll speed it up so it won't be too annoying. 
To find these guys, it's pretty simple enough. Uh, you're going to need the Eon Flute, which you get through normal gameplay. So just pop it on. Then you're going to fly around. You're going to soar around. Sorry. And you're going to look for these little red spots. Follow that Hoenn map I showed you guys at the very beginning. Just fly over to one. If you've met the requirements, you're going to be able to, you know, get into these portals. Then you're going to go run, find a portal, and basically save outside in front of it. Hopefully get your synchronizer ready, the one with the right nature, uh, even though it's only got a 50% chance of working. And then uh, hop in there and toss your Master Ball. And now while trying to catch a perfect legendary, there are uh, two, two resources you can use. One, you can go on to Pokemon Showdown like this. Put in the Pokemon that you're looking for. Like, let's say I'm trying to find Terrakion. I'm trying to get a perfect Terrakion. I input the right level. That's why that's a red box right there. Level's important. And then I go down and I pick the nature that I want. And if you're trying to get a certain nature for Terrakion or for any other legendary, using a synchronizer with the right nature will help you a lot. A lot. So I would definitely recommend that. And then um, in the right purple, you can see the stats that we're looking for. Now... Obviously, you know, you probably don't need six perfect IVs. You usually just need five because Terrakion is a physical attacker. So we don't really care about its special attack. But so just you can ignore the 82 and we're searching for a Terrakion with 166 HP, 149 attack, etc, etc. So those are the stats we're looking for. You can get in, master ball it, check the stats, check the nature. If it's not right, reset, do it over and over and over again until you get a perfect spread like that. So you can um, input it in yourself. Or I'm also going to put a link in the description to an article uh, a friend of mine uh, wrote. His name is Simon. He wrote an article on catching flawless legendaries. But what's really important in the article, besides obviously his awesome rhetoric and sense of humor, I don't, I don't know. But um, a friend of his, Mikoto Mikasa, put in um, every single legendary in this game. Well, all the important VGC ones. He's got a, a, a list for all of them and... Pretty much top tier natures and the IVs that you would find for those natures. So, for example, he has like a section on Chrysalia, and he he shows you like the four natures that are really, you know, those are like the the the, the viable ones, you know, the the in at least in the video game championship realm. So in VGC, but he'll say, okay, here's the possible natures you should be looking for, and these are what those IVs will look like. And he's got one for pretty much everything that's legal in VGC. I think all of them. So. That's a really good, great resource if you don't know what kind of, you know, Latios you should be looking for, what kind of Azelf you should be looking for, what kind of Terrakion. He's got like, oh, this is pretty much you really want to run Jolly or Adamant, and then these are the stats you're looking for. So that's really, really helpful. I'll put a description link at the bottom, um, and then you guys go click on that, and that'll save you a lot of time because uh, he's done most of the hard work for you. But that's about it. Thanks so much, and I uh, hope you guys, uh, good luck. Um, you know, shiny, not shiny catching, legendary catching.